What's up? <laughs> Uh, uh. What, uh, what are some New Year's copyright free music? Is this? Ooh, ooh, this is banger. Yeah. Is this banger? I think this is banger. Okay, guys, what's up? Hi. Um, <clears throat> as you may all know, um, I am doing a big fat move, and so this will be my last stream of the year uh, before I have to trek across the country and move. So um, I decided, you know, like I'm gonna stop moping around. Let's just end the year off with a bang. And so, um, while I was in Chicago, I was on Argyle Street, via town. Um, I was in I was in the Discord server with all the Babel buddies, and uh, we were just we're in the Asian chip aisle, <laughs> and we got all these weird chips to to test out on stream. So yippee! <laughs> I guess I'll I'll have to rank them as well, huh? Um, I'll make like a little text. Little text thingy. I'll rank them. Uh, let's see. Add text. Chip ranking. Weird. How about weird champ chip ranking? I think that's. I think that's good. Let me make that smaller. Yippee! Um, for the longest time. Uh, so I have a Logitech C920 for a webcam, and every time I add it, oh, Jojo, yes, baby, yes, baby, come to mama, come to mama, come to mama. Jojo is gonna be our chip connoisseur. Looks like he wants to lay on me while we stream. Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, I forgot that. I, I didn't know how to make my webcam 1920 ratio. And I just figured out how. Apparently you have to get out of default default um picture size and change it to custom. I have had this webcam since the beginning of my VTuber journey and I did not know it could be in 169 ratio. I, <laughs> who was going to tell me? I didn't know! <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> Only in Bauhayo. Alright, Jojo, okay. Well... <laughs> he, he, he smells the chips. That's for sure. He likes what he smells. He's investigating. I'm too drunk, my music too loud. But man, am I glad at least one of my favorite streamers is on right now. Oh, what the heck? I'll try to be as long as I can um, before people start coming over and then it's gonna get quite loud. <laughs> so, um, we'll, we'll just keep going as, as long as the night permits it. I hope everyone is drinking responsibly. Um, doing stuff responsibly, making responsible decisions because we don't want to bring those bad vibes into the new year. So, um... Hello, Jojo. Okay, well... <laughs> We've got a we've got a guest here today. All right, he's messing with my Go XLR. Let me know. Let me know if my audio gets wacky because uh, he's over there. He's in the danger zone. Jojo, move your butt. Move your butt. Come here. Come back on my lap. Come here. Thank you. You baby man. You big baby man. Wacky audio time. It'll happen. I know it will. It's a matter of time now. Love your setup. Thank you. Uh, this is from... Kier. Kier. K-I-R on Twitter. Um, she's a really cool self-made artist. And I love all of her merch. She was really, really big into marine biology. Um, so I bought pretty much all of the whale things that she has. I, I spent so much money on her shop. I, <laughs> I, love, I love like silly, silly fish. I think, I think that's like my biggest like change 
from when I was a teenager to an adult. Like as a teenager, I would only buy anime merch, but now as an adult, I buy like cute cus like cute like animal drawings on like shirts and stuff. Like I don't really like to buy anime stuff anymore. I just like, I don't know, cute doodles of cute little guys, you know? That's sort of it. Oh my gosh. Kurwaka, thank you so very much for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Um, uh, well anyways, we're gonna start, uh, my weird chip tasting stream. I mean, we're gonna rank all these weird chips. Unfortunately, um, I had the munchies, like, a night ago. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I did get my nails done for, for my Vegas trip, and they're still, they're still pretty nice. They match my setup very well. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let's see. I, uh, I ate, I ate the salted egg lays. It's in... Oh, I, I, I don't know what language that is. It looks like Thai, but I'm not really sure if it is. But it's salted egg and it was really good, actually. Like, I ate the whole bag and there's nothing left. See? Jojo likes it too. And, um, it really does kind of taste like salted egg. Only thing is, like, it has that weird, like, grainy texture in your mouth after you eat it. Because, like, that's the texture of salted egg. Like, once the yolk gets kind of dry from being salted, it has that, like... That weird crumbly texture to it. I don't know how to explain it, but... That's the only thing that was a little, like, weird. But I liked it. I don't know how to describe it. If you've ever had salted egg in, like... Like a... Like a moon cake or something, like... I mean, it's kind of good. And then, um... I got this one, too. This was fucking $10. Can you believe that? This was $10. And I was like, what is so special about this version of salted eggs? Like, for it to be, like, three times the cost of the other salted eggs. And I didn't like it. Because... Here, I'll open it. Because I... It's got, like, a zipper bag and it's fancy or whatever. But, like, I didn't like it because it wasn't crunchy. It was, it was kind of soggy in texture. It wasn't as crunchy as I hoped for it to be. It has, like, the deep-fried, like, green peppers and herbs, too, that you eat with. So it's got that green stuff with it. But I didn't like it. Here. I don't know if you can hear it, but, like... I don't know. It's very flavorful. I would argue and say there's too much salted egg in this. Because the texture from the salted eggs is a little off-putting. I don't know. I think it's because there's salt, so much salted egg that it's kind of soggy. I didn't... It, I wasn't a fan of this. As much as I liked this one. One, it was significantly cheaper. And this one was like $10. Yeet! Here, I'm gonna add the text. What do you think, Jojo? Yeah, I'll let you taste the chip after. Uh... Let's see. Gucci... Salted... Egg. Um... I'll give it a... I'll give it a D. And then... Lay's Salted Egg. I'll give this a B. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. It's Jojo. Jojo is a boy. He's my first... Oh. Hi. Give me your paw. <laughs> Jojo is my first boy cat. I've never had a boy cat. I've only had girl cats my whole life. He's my first... My first son. Right, Jojo? You're my first son! He's very... Him and... My second cat are... Probably, like... The cuddliest cats I've ever had. Like, this cat is just... Always wants attention. Always crying for me. Always meowing. Like, looking for me. He's just a little baby. He's just a little guy. But yeah. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much for the five gifted. Alright, what's next? I did get some kung fu tea. So that I could... 
in case any of the chips got too spicy for me. Um, this is winter melon with a milk cap on it. Because, you know, your girl can't stay away from dairy. <laughs> My baby Jojo. Anyways, so let's see what we're gonna try next. Oh, I got some chips on the ground too. <laughs> let's try this one. This one is hot chili squid. So, I still don't really know what language that is. But yeah, a salted squid, and there's the graphic of the salted squid with the chili sauce on it. I'm a little worried. I don't. I. I want. I'm worried it'll be too fishy for me, but I'm. I'm trusting it. Okay. I think it's Thai. I believe it's Thai on here. Jojo, can you open this for me? Oh God. Oh. Okay, I got it. Okay, Jojo. Wanna do this smell test for me? Oh. Pretty interested. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, you can't. It, it's... I, I think it might be spicy. I'll give you a little bit, okay? Here's the chip. It looks... Fairly normal. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! This isn't that bad! <laughs> He's trying to shove his head in it. <laughs> Hi, Sekine! I hope you've been well. Um. It's not a... It, I, I taste the strong umami of the squid, but it's not fishy. It's like... It's like a smoky... It's like a smoky umami taste it's not that squiddy at all it's like a little fishy but like it's like it's this is so forgiving you guys want this uh oh uh oh uh oh <gasps> world eater panko has arrived would you like this chip okay i i gave her the chip she's eating it <laughs> Okay, well, the whole squad is here. Jojo's a little picky. I don't think he'll eat it. Well, she's enjoying it. Well, she liked it. This is actually really good. I'm gonna give this an A. This is really good. Want for milk? Okay, maybe she didn't really like the smell. She liked the taste. Yeah, it doesn't have the best smell. No, you're right. You're right, Panko. It doesn't have the best smell. Mmm. It smells suspicious, but it tastes delicious. That is... That is, like, the... That is like the saying of like every Asian sauce that you could possibly smell. Any like any Asian sauce that has like a like like fish in it, it smells suspicious. Or 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 maybe we can make it into a rule. If it smells suspicious, it tastes delicious. That's like pussy. All right. I held myself back. Let's see. Lay's hot chili squid. Um. Hmm. I'll give it an A minus because the smell was a bit suspicious. It's a little sus. All right, guys. I got enough for the class. I like that all the chips are like really big and crunchy. And they're not like thin. I don't really like the thin. I like the I like the fat wavy chips. That's my favorite chip texture. I just think that the wavy chips they catch a lot of the seasoning. 
you know? Okay, take a sippy. Trust me, guys. Winter melon tea is so damn good. I got onto this because my cousin was drinking it and I tasted it and I was like, the fuck? This is so fucking good. I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like... Mm, I don't know. It's just like the perfect, like, sweet but refreshing tea. And then I added a milk cap to it, so it's like kind of creamy right now. God damn! It tastes good as hell. Also, I hope everyone's having a good New Year's. I'm sorry I haven't been too active streaming. I just haven't really been in like a good headspace for it. Today is an exception though. I've been looking forward to this stream because of all the support from the Babel Bros in the server. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys have been taking care of yourself. Um, hope you guys survived that, uh, that really cold, 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 cold front that hit pretty much the US the other week. I know it's kind of warm now, but hope you guys didn't suffer too much because of it. Um, <clears throat> oh, thank you, boys. Thank you, guys. Take your time getting back to normal. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as always, uh, gentle reminder, I'm always active in the server. If you guys ever want to hang out with me, I like doing errands with my Balbo buddies a lot. It just, I don't know, like having, having company and having like people sort of like <laughs> be present to kind of like chaperone you as you do adult things. I don't know. It makes it so much less scary or anxiety inducing. Mm. Yeah, they're they're the voices in my head. <laughs> Shout out to the Starbucks drive-through for real, for real. <laughs> Why did it get so warm after that cold, that cold like winter storm that beat the shit out of us? <laughs> uh, what have I been up to though? Um, so I went home. Uh, I'm in the Yeehaw land right now. Uh, I'm in Ohio, and. Uh, what, what have I been up to? Um, I went to Vegas. Uh, hung out with Numi. Um, hung out with friends. Mm, came back. Uh, I got my... My family a lot of presents. Um, just like... I don't know. I wanted... I just want to make my family's life easier. And like, we have so many animals. Um, I bought like a bunch of dog beds because like my dogs are getting quite old. They're all like like seven years old now Seven yeah, seven year years old now and I figured like their joints must be kind of ouchy sleeping on the On the kitchen floor. So I got them comfy big old comfy dog beds except now the cats sleep on them and <laughs> It's really cute like every day like the, a cat sleeping there a dog sleeping there It's really cute. Um I got my parents uh, a Dyson vacuum because um, my my parents like they have this old ass vacuum because you know they're like they're Asian and El Cheapo and they don't like to upgrade their appliances they like to keep it until it falls apart and um <laughs> I uh so I got them the Dyson so because it's you know it's wireless you don't have to lug it up and down the stairs it's really nice and uh, I set it up for them and my dad was telling me to like return it it's too much it's return it it's too much money he was like yelling at me I'm like bro it's too late, I already bought it! But, yeah. Um, and my mom really likes it. She likes... We, I got the one that shoots out the laser, so you can see all the dog and cat hairs on the floor. And god damn, do we have a lot of cat hair on the ground. You're, if you ever come over to my family's house, like... Trust me, you, you don't want to sit on the floor. Unless you don't care, like, if you're wearing sweatpants or something, sure, but, like... If you're wearing a nice, like, pair of jeans, like, don't sit on the floor. Yeah, it shoots out this, like, green laser on the floor, and... You can, like, see each individual, like, hair fiber just, like, like sitting on the floor. It's really, really cool. I, I thought it was gonna be, like, I don't know. I thought it wasn't gonna, like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of gimmicky when I read it, but then I got it, and I was like, holy fuck, you can really see, like, every fucking hair fiber on the ground. And trust me, we had a lot, too. So, yeah, I'm not sponsored, although I would like to one day. <laughs> What else? Yeah, they got fucking laser sights on vacuums. You could literally, you could literally like <laughs> hold the Dyson from outside someone's house and just like <laughs> freeze, put your hands up. Yeah. Source, trust me, bro. Trust me. 
Um, what else? Uh, I got my little sister, the litter robot. Like, the, the fucking, like, the, the spaceship-looking litter box that rotates. Um, it's kind of crazy. It goes crazy. Also, like, God, I, my life really changed after I got that for my cats. Like, I guess I hate scooping the litter box, and I don't want my house to smell like cat shit. So, yeah. God damn. Because my cat's shits are lethal. I don't know if you've ever had a cat. But... Jesus Christ. How does how does that smell come from such a small body? I have no idea. Yeah, I got that for my little sis. I named it um well, I can't say it cuz it's my last name. I I named it last name uh apostrophe s shitter 9000. That's what I named it. You can like name it on your phone. The smaller the cat, the worse the smell. So fucking true. I don't know why they... I don't know why. It smells so fucking bad. <laughs> Fire name. Thank you. Excuse me. It has an app. Yeah, it has an app. It goes crazy. You can like... You can like force it to like do a cycle. It'll tell you how like full the trash compartment is. Because like once it rotates, there's a drawer at the bottom that collects the shit. And then it'll tell you how full it is and if you need to change it or not. And then it tells you how full the litter is inside of the litter box. Because, like, if it's too low, then, you know, like, the poop won't clump. I don't know. I, I'm sorry I keep talking about shit. But it's, it's, it's just technology, you know? Yeah, it's got analytics and everything. It'll, like, it'll, like, figure out how much your cats weigh based on, like, the way it steps onto the step and in, into the litter box and uh you can have lights on too it has like little dimmer lights that you can have for your kitties and it'll like pause like a cycle if like there's a cat so like the cat doesn't get stuck in the spaceship <laughs> as it's rotating this is a normal day in Valhalla. <laughs> your cat has pooped 20 percent more than usual this morning <laughs> That's funny. And then that way, if people shit in the litter box, they can't blame the cat because the because the AI knows. <laughs> the shit stats. Who, who, who's got the highest score this week? Jojo, Panko, or Mitzi? <laughs> Foiled again. What? <laughs> no, gross. No, please don't shit in my cat's litter box. It costs too much money. I can't. Your fingers are cute. Thank you. They're... They're just... <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> uh... I kind of went on a tangent. Oh, what, what else? Um... I got my sister, my older sister, some Lululemon. Because she really likes Lululemon. And she's like... One of those, like... You know, one of those... Asian ladies that likes to wear like coach bags and stuff. And I was like, I'm like, I, I just know Lululemon is like on her like Pinterest board or something. So I got her some, and I got her some training gloves cause I know she likes to work out at home. Um, uh, and then for Tammy little station, I got her uh, AirPod Maxes, like the noise canceling headphones because we both have crippling anxiety and I figured she'd probably like to have that if she's out in public. I, I can tell she has misophonia, kind of like me. Like, we can't handle when people yell at us and we get really anxious and, like, run away and hide. I'm like, damn, she just like me for real, for real. So I got her those. Um, what else did I get her? Uh, I got her these, like... Um, I got her these, like, cute... I went to a mini... a mini so in Vegas. It's like a dye soap, it's small. And I got her these cute, like, Pokemon Lego kits. It was like twelve dollars, and I got one, her one, one for her and one for her boyfriend. She, I gave her a far fetched one, and then her boyfriend had the slow poke one. So they built that together on Christmas. Um, and then for my niece and nephew, I bought them uh, the uh, Nender. I bought them Nenderoids of Nezuko and Tanjiro because I thought it would be cute because they're siblings. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and then I bought uh, I mean, uh, some AirPods for my brother-in-law, and then my parents they got the Dyson. I've been I wanted to I I like to gift people like 
functional things or things that like I think would I don't know they would they can like I don't know put like a little bit of effort into crafting and I don't know have a nice memory from it yeah what did I get myself though um I don't think I got myself anything <laughs> what oh, let me look uh oh I got myself underwear around i got myself really nice underwear um from airy got these two really nice bras from airy because i i hate wearing i don't know i don't know if there's any women here i think there's women here i hope there's women here um <laughs> i i don't like to wear bras with wires on them i, I don't know if this is tmi but like because I, I get like chest pain from anxiety and <laughs> I can't like, I don't know. And then also like I have digestion issues. So like anytime I have any kind of compression on like my, my stomach or my chest, I like get pain. So usually I never wear, I, I like very rarely wear bras unless like I'm going to hang out with friends. Cause like, I don't want to. I don't want to, I want this, I don't want to like stare at them like this, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> I, I really don't like wired bras. So I got these nice wireless ones, but they're push up. They're kind of nice. It's not that much. I, I can't, I can't do too much push up either. Cause then like that compression happens and then I just can't breathe. But like, if it's like, like, I don't know, like half an inch of padding, then like, that's cute. That's like the perfect amount of like subtle, subtle push that i need to look nice in a t-shirt are they 2.5 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz wireless i hate you <laughs> how much ram bruh I, I hate it here 32 gigabytes probably is what i would go for the minimum yeah, free the nipple. Free the nipple. I'm a proponent of that. Leon, thank you very much for the five. Oh my god, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thank you. What else did I get? I got a COVID test. And it was negative. I got myself a really nice purse. Um, it's like a cute little pink hand purse. You can see IPN wear it. I think he posted it on Twitter. <laughs> um I, I gave my sister my Herman Miller. I'm, I'm, I'm using it right now, but like, <laughs> my parents, my dad just like didn't, when, when like they were shipping my things to me after I moved last year, they like didn't ship me my Herman Miller, and then my sister took it, and I was like, well, it would cost way too much money for me to like, ship it, so I might as well just get a different one. Goodbye, Herman Miller. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. I, I'm. I like to spoil my little sis. She, she can have whatever, whatever she wants. <laughs> oh right, back to chip opening. All right, this one. This one's gonna be fun. Uh, it's ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. Ah shit. Oh, you know what? I bought something. very organized person Ta -da! i bought i bought these chip bag thingies they're like they're little green onions i got them from mini so it was does it say how much it was i know it's not that much mini so stuff is super cheap 
They're so cute. Oh, they come in like a little magnetic... They come in a little magnetic thingy so I can put it on my fridge. That's so freaking cute. What the heck? How do I use this? Because I kind of want to eat these squid chips later. Yippee! How do I do this? What? Alright, push all the air out. Is it like this? Wait, I don't know. Is it like this? Is, is it like that? Wait, I don't know. Wait, how do I do it? I don't know. Wait, how do I do it? Ceiling clip. What's a ceiling clip? I don't know. I think the top of the bag and then roll. Huh? Top of the bag? Like... Like this? Wait. I don't know, I'm confused. Like this? No? Like this? Is it like this? Am I doing it? But then how do I close it? Wait, how do I close it? I don't get it. Help! I don't get it. Help! I, I don't get it. I don't know how. How do you do it? What? What? I don't get it. The top clip. Don't fold too much. Clip it at the top. Don't fold too much. Oh. Okay. No, I can fold more than this. I can fold more than this. I did it! I'm so fucking smart. Holy shit! Where'd Panko go? I don't know. Kinda. Kinda worked. Sliced bread bags? What does that mean? This is good enough, I think. Yippee! Alright, I'll put it here. Actually, I don't know where to put it. Hi, Panky! Touch your belly, touch your belly, big, big belly, big belly. Where'd she go? Okay, next! Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Okay, next! I don't know what to do with this. I'll just put that there. Um... There's like some advertisement here. And there's just people playing games and on their phone. And like, I don't know. I guess this pertains to me. This is like Thai ghost pepper flavor. Oh! It actually doesn't smell that bad. It smells like... Uh, it smells like chili oil. You know? Like Chinese chili oil. That's what it smells like. Okay, let's eat a big chip. This wasn't spicy. It's a little sour and it tastes like you guys know that like hot pot the hot pot broth that is a uh, very oily that's what it tastes like it's the hot pot broth with like a bunch all the peppers hi camilla I'm, 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 i miss you baby mala yeah, this isn't that spicy. 
It looks pretty intimidating. But it wasn't that spicy. What's on the floor? Hmm. Cat toys! It's a... Uh... Look, I'm gonna catch a cat. I'm gonna go fishing. Caught one. Caught two. I don't know. I like to randomly fish for cats while I'm working. But I that's why I have it right here. <laughs> Watch your paw, Jankjo. Okay. Yeah, these aren't that spicy. It's got like a bit of a kick. I can feel it in the back of my throat, but no. Not bad at all. It's a good flavor. It's like kind of sour, kind of sweet. Got a little kick in the back of the throat. It's kind of nice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna put this... Blaze... Ghost pepper. I'm gonna rate that an A. This is like the perfect amount of spice, TBH. I'm a fan of it. Let me just... Why is it spicy? I thought this tasted better than the chili, the chili squid. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh! Just because the smell of the chili squid was a little scary at first. Yay! Green leak sealant. I'll just put this over here. Put this there. What are these? Uh, this is Korean. Um, I don't know. Maypur, maypur, kon, kyon, maypur kon. I can read terrible Hangul. <laughs> ha, wait, what's it say? Wa, da, il. I can't read. Never mind. Uh, ma what? Mar Mar Song. I have no idea. It's Canadian. What are these flags? Pat, do you recognize these flags? I know that's Canada. What's the other one? What flag is that? Quebec? Oh. Oh, it's because it's it's got maple in it. Panko, you want to smell this one? <laughs> she smells the chili squid one. The chili squid one was good. Denmark? Oh, everyone's saying French Canadia. Ugh, I can't open it. Asian bags go crazy, bro. I can't open this shit. Panko, open this shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't open it! What the fuck? I, was, I can't open this. <gasps> fuck. What the fuck? This shit go crazy! <laughs> bro, this shit go crazy how I open it! All right, I'm getting scissors. Ugh. I don't know where my scissors are. Thank Oh no, I have something better. Saw it. On the ground. 
Here we go. Uh, I'm so messy. <laughs> oh, I found it. Okay, found it. I bought this at a random little like Chinese knickknack store in Vegas. It's this little like carrot, like strawberry carrot thing, and it's got a little switchblade on the inside, so I can open letters and packages. So cute. Huh? Let's see. Got it. Give me all your money. Wait. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's re it, it like auto retracts though. So like I can't I really can't hurt myself. Guys, look, I fucking I would gripped it so hard there's a hole in it. Look. Wait, can you see it? I gripped it so hard I put a hole in it. <gasps> there's the hole. I couldn't open it. I swear I put all my strength into it. Oh. All right. Got it. <laughs> Whoa. They're huge. They're like little shrimps. They look like little shrimp, uh, like shrimp tempuras. They're freaking huge. Like coconut shrimps. Oh, damn! Wait a second! Wait a damn second! These are good as hell! What the fuck? They're like... They taste like corn puffs, but there's like... Maple, and it's sweet. Aren't you happy we forced you to buy them? Yeah. I think I really am. I think I really am. These are really yummy. What the fuck? Bro, the crunch go crazy. Look at this guy. Look at this happy little guy. That crunch is insane. <laughs> They're so yummy. I have a lot of... I have, like, six more bags. I don't want to spoil my appetite, so I'm going to roll this up, but... Holy shit! That one was really good. Hold on, I'm going to add this to the list. Um... Maple... Maple... Maple corn... Chip. That's an A for me. Yummy! I really liked it. That was yummy. I think I'll 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 choose who which ones were S which one is S tier at the end. Gotta use this nifty green onion. I love Asian stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you ever go in an Asian knickknack store and you're like, there's no way I would need anything in here. There's so many, like, random stuff. And then you look a little closer and you're like, oh, shit. But what if? But what if I need a green onion chip clip? Or what if I need a tiny little strawberry switchblade? Huh? What, what if the opportunity arises and I don't have a cute little strawberry switchblade? Huh? What, what then? What if? Hold on, what else do I have here? Ugh. Let me grab all this, all this stuff. Well, it's not all of it, but... Ugh. What else do I got? <laughs> oh, yeah! You guys! I forgot! IPN bought me a Christmas present. Oh. I forgot. He bought me this really cute lemon, um... What are these called? 
fanny pack. It's like a it's like a highlighter yellow lemon fanny pack. It's got a little like stem on it. It's super cute. From Mukuyobi Thursday. Some place called Thursday. It's so cute. Look, it's got a little lemon stripes on it. Oh, I love my pen. He's so sweet. And he got me this little whale too. Look, it's a little yellow whale. It's literally perfect. Literally lemon whale, lemon bow. It was so cute. It's got a cute little like spout at the top too. Ooh, I love my pen. He's so sweet. I know I bully him lots, but he's he's perfect. I love my pen. He's the bestest friend anyone could ask for. <sighs> Love IPN. Anyways. What if I need a pom pom pudding contacts case, huh? Well, I don't want to put my contact case in those free little circle lens cases that you get with every contact solution bottle. What if I want to spend extra money <laughs> so I can put it in a little, pom little square pom pom pudding, huh? What do I do then? And what if, what if I want? Well, I got this from. Uh, I went, I went to Omega Mart and I got this. I don't know if you guys know what Omega Mart is. It's like this cool acid trip art interactive art museum. And look, this uh, this smell is called Primordial Dawn. I'm gonna put it in my car. I can't wait to smell what Primordial Dawn smells like. I can't smell it from out here. It's for, it's for outdoor recreation. I can't wait. I'm gonna drive my car and I'm gonna take a big old sniff at the steering wheel. <sighs> ah, sure does smell like primordial dawn. What else I got? Um, oh, I got this, I got this like nice charger port. And it's got like USB-C and two USB ports on it. And, uh, it's 15 watts. Pretty good. I love Daiso. What if my friends are extra hairy? Because they saw how cute my cats were and they got... And they were wearing black and they got stuff all over their nice black clothes. And look! It's got a little kitty paw! Little kitty paw! Tell me you wouldn't spend money on this. Tell me! Look at this and tell me you wouldn't spend money on it. It's got cute little cat prints on it too. It's so freaking cute. Bro, a mini so is so dangerous. I'm just such a knickknack type of person. I love knickknacks. Knickknacks are the best. What else did I get? Um. Oh, I went to Omega Mart and they had this really cool uh, gum. <laughs> it's called Doomed Expedition. And if you look closer, it says... I don't know if you can see it. It's not going well. <laughs> this is why this is why uh, I've been streaming all those doomed expedition YouTube videos in the Bobble server cuz uh I love listening to doomed expedition like YouTube videos where they like go into depth analysis about every single mistake like okay I, if I learned anything from watching tons of doomed expedition type videos i know to never go caving never go mountain climbing uh never go scuba diving and especially never go scuba diving in underwater caves that's combined that's like twice the death oh yeah and never go near pipes if you ever see an underwater structure don't fucking go under there okay but yeah I can't wait to taste what Doomed Expedition tastes like. Oh my god! I have to read you guys the excerpt on the back. Look. He's very chilly. <clears throat> Day 285. When we, were, when we were becalmed, I prayed for any sound at all from the ocean. Now, all I can hear is the damnable cracking of ice against the old girl's will. Oh, against the old girl's hull. They say the captain is unfit to lead. Seeing as how I'm the captain, I agree. Day 297. It's either Murphy or me. Survival is a terrible thing. Murphy hands me a piece of doomed expedition. We laugh, just like we have the last 296 days. <laughs> well, I notice that no one is laughing in the chat. Am I the only one that finds this amusing? Just a whole story on the back.
Monka laugh. What? <laughs> well, I think it's funny. <laughs> what else I got? What treasures? What treasures have I gotten from? Um, new me got all of us socks for Christmas and, um, look, she gave me this, uh, bear in swimming trunks and he's scuba -ing. <laughs> They're super cute. I haven't, I haven't worn them yet, but they're super cute. Thank you, new me. <laughs> they're so cute. Um, what else? Oh yeah! I realized I had another weird scented uh, car freshener. Let me just <laughs> find it. Eh? I I just had it. Where did it go? <laughs> ah. Oh here it is. This one is um there. It, I think it's some turkey legs, and it's got a rose. And it's called Unspoken Promises. And it's got like a heart locket in the middle. I like it. I like how nonsensical it is, but also melancholy. This one's gonna smell like Unspoken Promises. <laughs> and I got these really cool window decal stuff from Omega Mart. Uh, this, is called, this is called 404 Cleaner. It deletes... Um, your computer files if you spray it it's kind of cool and it says here deletes 99 percent of spyware spyware protection so if you spray it it'll spyware your it'll delete the spyware on your computer what else i got um oh i got this banana spider crab I don't know how to describe it, but it's a banana spider crab. I love this guy. This guy is my friend. I know I could trust him. Um, and then from Daiso, I got these. I wanna, I wanna build them on stream sometime. Look, it's a um, uh, is this a lowland ponytail? Beepy! It's really cute. I wanna buy it. And this is Vaporeon. Um, I actually, I don't want to talk about this one. <laughs> and I got a little, look. Little green onion. Little green onion Chikorita. My little pear girl. I love her. I love Chikorita. Chikorita is definitely like my favorite starter ever. I've just always been like a grass type enjoyer. I just really like grass types. I got this, you know, I got these uh, scissors for when my eyebrows get too long and I can trim them. Or like if I'm like trimming my uh, eyelashes, like the fake eyelashes, not my actual eyelashes. <laughs> but they're from Wee Bear Bears and it's got little bear ears on it. Well, I thought it was really cute. And I got this thing called, this actually works. You know when you wake up and you have like crazy eye packs, you buy this like gel eye mask and you put it in your fridge. And then you take it out after you do your skincare and you put it on your eyes and it feels so good. And then when you take it out, it like de-puffs your eyes. Because the cold, like, it, it like reduces the swelling in your face. It's really nice. Also, it's, I don't know, I like, I like doing little things when I wake up and I'm preparing for a long day. Like a, like a ritual. Um, 
usually my rituals involve sacrifices, but you know, sometimes I can just, I just hear a distant scream. Oh, it's my little sister playing Overwatch. That scared the shit out of me. It sounded distorted, like a like it was coming from the great beyond. Anyways, I got this cute little uh, sponge puff holder. It's got like it's like a little cradle, like a little metal cradle, and I can put my little I don't know. All all the girls I know use this to apply like their foundation or their BB creams. And then my little sister's boyfriend got me this. Well, I, technically I got the koala. You know those like surprise boxes. I got a koala one, but I really wanted the frog. But my little sis was really nice and she traded me her frog. <laughs> Yippee! It's so cute. It looks like me. <laughs> Don't it look just like me? Frog. It's super cute. I love it so much. I love frog merchandise. What else I got? Sorry, my nose is very sniffly. I'm still getting over my cold. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. That's my haul. <laughs> I love buying weird knickknacks. I don't know. I'm such a weird knickknack, like, enjoyer. Oh, and I went to this cute store. I went to this cute store, uh, where, with Numi, and it had, like, these really cute, like... Wait a second. These didn't fall off, did they? Oh, I didn't even notice. I guess this has always been asymmetrical, but I got this really cute skinny ring. I <coughs> Sorry. I really like um, delicate jewelry, kind of. Like, really small type things. The smaller, the better. I think this is like $40, I think. And I got this cute, like, necklace, and it's, it's really small. It's like, I don't know. I don't really like big pieces of jewelry. I like small, dainty ones, so... It's very cute. Yippee! I don't really buy jewelry, but um, for the occasion, I thought I would buy some jewelry. This is like, this is the only ring I own. I'm very picky. I'm a very picky girl. Um, yeah. Oh. Can't show you my underwear, but I got really cute underwear. They're just boy briefs. I don't know if you guys know what genre of underwear that is, but it's like... I don't really like the skinny thong ones. I like the ones that cover my fat cheeks, you know? I like I like to feel nice and... them nice and snuggled. And so, yeah, that's what's... they're called boy briefs. Right? They're the best choice. Yeah, there's genres of underwear. And, uh... What else? The Bluetooth wireless bras. Super nice and comfy. Brands and colors. Uh, my underwear is uh, is gray, uh, navy blue, light blue, and then my two bras are dark gray, and it's kind of like a sprout green. It's kind of like it's kind of like this color. It's really cute. Yeah, that's what I have. Um, oh, and then my little sister bought me... Wait, I can show you guys my Christmas present. Okay. Okay. What? Uh, I got this cute little plush, and it's like a little tempura guy. It's from mini. It's from mini so again. They got glasses. Look, he's so cute. Little tempura. <laughs> it's pinko. Very cute. 
Um, what else? And then my little sister got me this cute little travel kit. Skincare. Belief has a Korean brand. It's very hydrating. I really like Belief. It's cute. And then, um... Let's see. My, uh... Uh, Mako, Mako, uh, had recommended me these. They're better than pads. They're like, they're called soft discs. And you just, you just pop them in. And apparently they are much more comfier than pads. I actually get allergic reactions from pads because of the material. Um... And like, I haven't really found like an alternative for it, so I just kind of deal with it. Um, cause like, all pads just use the same like material to absorb like liquid. Um, so I always get like, kind of, kind of itchy and like irritated, but I can't really do anything about it. I tried using, um, this thing called like the Diva Cup, but it, it ended up being really painful. And like very uncomfortable to take in and out. So I kind of just stopped using it. But apparently, apparently these are comfier. So I really want to try it. Are they a mix of tampon and pad? Here, let me read it. Can be worn for up to 12 hours, disposable after each use. Made with 100% medical grade polymers, does not cause irritation, helps prevent menstrual odor and dryness. Um, uh, there's 14 of them in here. I don't know where the instructions are. Oh, here he is. Um, it's like a soft disc. It's the first menstrual disc on the market. Um, it forms to your body so you don't feel it. It prioritizes comfort by collecting rather than absorbing. Um, not, and it's also not linked to toxic shock syndrome. So, if you guys don't know, uh, if you were, if you wear a tampon and you don't take it out and like, there's this, like, there's just a, you know, a foreign object in your body that is collecting what is essentially decom the decomposing lining of an organ. Um, it can, basically, it's like, it's like, it's like you getting is experiencing septic shock but it's called toxic shock syndrome and it can happen if you don't take your tampon out so yeah but this doesn't cause that yippee <laughs> so the disc goes in yeah oh my god i'm like a little cd drive fuck yeah want to hear some tunes <laughs> yippee hey kid Want to hear some tunes? Want some jams? <laughs> Anyways. Is that Yippee a soundboard? No, it's just... That's me saying... Yippee! 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 Minecraft jukebox looking ass! <laughs> Shut up! Lo-fi beats to shed your lining to! <laughs> you guys are so funny, what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on now? I got distracted! You guys made me go into an ADHD rabbit hole. This is why I can stream for so long. I just keep going into ADHD rabbit holes until I realize like, oh shit. Where am I? I have so many chips! I have too many chips. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what else? Oh! Well, I don't know if I can... I'll open it. My... My mama got me this eyeshadow palette. It's a little awkward because the colors don't really show up too well on me. Because, like... I'm not super... Op I'm not super pale. But, uh... These go great as highlighters. <laughs> I think maybe they're just meant to build. But I will try to use them. Yippee! Try to lay, layer more, I guess. Yeah, probably. It takes a bee. <sighs> um... What else? Oh! Wait! I wanna show you... Oh. 
So I got this pillow. Well, let me just... Let me just... Uh, I got this pillow. It's a purple pillow. And like... It's like made out of this weird gel thing. Look! You can see the fucking stem... Stem cells of this pillow. It's kind of cool. It was really expensive. But like Mako was like, Girl, you need to try this pillow. It's a really good pillow. I was like, okay. And like... Apparently, it's like, it like doesn't get warm. Like, it's made out of stuff that doesn't get warm. So it's always, you're always on the cool side of the pillow. And it's so squishy. And I'm a really bad side sleeper and like stomach sleeper. So if you guys like sleep like a... If you sleep like a, a possessed person, um... And uh, you're like always in different. Pos you're you're break dancing in the middle of the night like me. You could. I I think this would be good for you. This is called the purple pillow. This has been a good investment for me so far. It might be too squishy for some people. I don't know if you guys like firm pillows, but I like squishy pillows, and it's really good. Not the break dancing. <laughs> I like. I don't know. I I. I move around a lot when I sleep. E e e. I love pillows. E. Yeah, I love this pillow. <gasps> oh yeah, and I got this. I got this really cool meat poster from Mega Mart. Um, I don't know. I just enjoy various meats, and they're all all the meats have different lore. So I'm really excited to put this meat poster up in my room. It's called Meats of the World. Yippee! That's, these are called plugins. You got the round and round. Coat in red phosphorus and ignite. This is the picnic marf cooking method. Place it on back burner and get to it when you can. These are the chores riz row cooking methods. What? Gas station hot dog rack, three minutes. <laughs> this is the lizard gizzard cooking methods. Um, spear and eat like a caveman. Okay. These are shadow ribs. Razor burn blow torch. These are called crimps. Trimps. Butter poach sleep fry. What? This is the hump and scrump light with fire arrows found in level two dungeon. Wonder Bratton. Submerge in burning questions. Yippee! I love. I love meat with lore. Yeah. That's my, my Vegas haul. What else? Oh. I found my tongue scraper. Look. I scrape my tongue with it and it gets all the yucky out. I highly invest in a tongue scraper because your tongue is filled with bacteria and that's what causes bad breath. I'll put it right here. Away now, though. Uh huh. Love the meat lore, TBH. Thanks. I liked it too. That's why I bought it. Ah, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Back to chip lore. There you go. Yay! Chip lore. 
Does anyone know what this is? Is this seaweed? I just, I just question because like, it seems so bright green. Is this seaweed? Now I have no idea what... Is this still Thai? This looks different than Thai. I don't know. Let's open it. Whee! Um... They're like... They're like shrimp chip texture. Hmm. 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 It's very bland. It's not very seasoned. It's a very bland chip. Mm. It could be more flavorful. I think it's a very bland... It, it, ta it tastes to me like a bland shrimp chip. Um... Green carpet chips. I'll give it a... Mm, a D. Because it needs more flavor. Shake it up. I can't. It's too full. Okay. Aw, oh, man. It spilled. Okay, carpet ants. Dinner time is ready. Hi, Momo! Happy New Year, BB! Okay, let's try it again. Flavor! I command you! To rise! Yeah, no, it wasn't... It didn't change it. <laughs> Nothing really changed. I'll probably give these guys to uh, the guests, the New Year's guests. I'm be like, hey, y'all. Y'all want some... Illegible chip bags? And then they're like, yeah, sure. I think I will take an illegible... An illegible chip bag. And then they'll help me finish it, so we don't waste it. <laughs> Yippee! What's next? Ah, oh, yeah, we got the spicy lobster Pringles. Well, they're Lay's, but they're they're. It's like a Pringles. Is Pringles Lay's? I actually don't know. Nothing like a spicy lobster to warm you up on a chilly winter day. Am I right? Stacks. Oh, they're they're like the Lay's Pringles. They're called Stacks. I see. All right. Ow. I have to peel this guy off. Oh yeah. Do ya. Ha! Hurra! Um. Yeah. Kind of smells like what I would expect. It just smells like regular Pringles. Yeah. Doesn't smell like much. Hmm. Mmm. Hmm. I taste. I taste lime. I taste. It tastes like Tom Yum soup. Have you guys ever had Tom Yum soup? This is what it kind of tastes like, but with like the taste of a normal Pringle. You know, like you eat a Pringle and it's like you taste 40% Pringle. It's that and then the other like, I don't know, other percent is, I can't do math. Tastes like Tom Yum. That's, that's pretty good. I'll give it. Mm, actually, I want to, I want to change something. The ghost pepper chip, I'm gonna give it a B. I really like the chili squid. Spicy lobster Pringles. I'm gonna give this one... Mm, I'm gonna give this a B. Just 
just because I don't really like lime chips a whole lot. They're not my favorite, but this is a good flavor for people that do like it. Brushing crumbs off. I like how this just looks like milk now. The bathroom will never be the same. I put that there. What else we got? These are just snacks that I want. Coffee. Okay. I'll just bring them all up. I don't know what happened to this guy. <laughs> um, I don't know <laughs> what happened. <laughs> what happened during transport, bro? Um, it's still somehow sealed, which is very impressive, honestly. I guess I got two of the hot chili squids, but this is in Pringle form. Um, I I don't know. Do you guys will it taste any better if it's in Pringle form? Oh, I just popped it open. Damn, I fucked this guy up. Okay. Mmm. Mmm! Yep. Still a banger. Give it an A. No. I'm gonna give it a B. I don't know. Pringles aren't my favorite. I honestly think I would have liked the spicy lobster Pringles, but I just don't really like Pringles. Pringles are just... I don't know. There's like a threshold to how good a Pringle can be. It's not a Pringle. It's a Stax. Okay? Well, it's a Pringle. Oh, this is just seaweed flakes. That's not a chip. I was just gonna eat that with rice if I got hungry. Okay, so let's see. We got we got three left. We got three boys left. Okay. This one <laughs> Well I, I I guess this classifies as a chip, but like it's they're crispy crispy white sardines. Black with black pepper. A lot of calcium. Apparently, they're made from real anchovies or sardines. Um, you eat it with a salad or with rice. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little worried, but surely it'll be okay. Um. Wow. Yep. That smells... That smells like, uh, cat food. <laughs> that smells like it could be a, a bag for cat treats, TBH. Not my... Not the best smell. Now I'm a little intimidated. So I guess this is a real fish. just way too fishy for me like there's like good fishy like like strong umami fishy and then that was just straight fishy that was really just ah! that was i didn't like that i didn't like that God. But why? 
What else? Okay. God. I still have bits of it in my mouth. I don't like it. The taste is still lingering. It's not a good taste. I didn't like that. Okay, this one uh, is spicy salted egg salmon skin. So not only is it spicy salted egg, which is different than the other spicy salt, the other salted egg potato chips. This one is salmon skin. This is the same brand as uh, this one. And like I said before, I didn't really like it just because the texture was really off. And it was kind of soggy, but this is salmon skin, so. Can you see it, chat? Do you see it? Okay, let's get a piece so you can... So this is the outside of the salmon skin. And, uh... As you can... Whoa! Why did my camera just suddenly flashbang itself? It, like, curls when you... It, like, curls in its, on itself when you, um... Deep fry it, so... I felt the kick. It is spicy. <laughs> Camilla. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like, yeah, what a deep fried... It tastes like deep fried salmon skin, but the salted egg flavor is kind of weird champ on it. And I also just don't really... It's not as crunchy as I want it to be. I want it to be crunchier. And I think just the texture of the salted egg is what I just don't really like about it. I give this a D, TBH. Crispy. What? Salmon. Skin. Wait. Spicy salted egg. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a D. Not my favorite. Bleh. Put it away. Oh, and here's the last one. Truffle! I saved this one for last, cause... Look, truffle. I was... I thought truffle was really expensive, so it's crazy to see it as a chip. It's so strange. Truffle-flavored Lay's chips? Mushroom chips! Yippee! Mm. They just look like normal potato chips. Mmm, yeah, it does smell shroomy. It definitely has that that strong mushroom umami smell. You know, like I don't describe it. Have you ever like smelled like a mushroom risotto? It's got that woody mushroom smell. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Not the sniffle emotes. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's a lot of shroomage going on in here. Okay, y'all. Behold the chip. That little black specks on it. I think that's just black pepper. Well, now I'm not sure. Is this the truffle? I don't know. It's got little black specks on it. Whoa! That is strong! Mmm! Holy shit! The, the truffle literally, like... It, it, it like... It's, it's like truffle perfume being, like, sprayed in your mouth. Whoa! So, this one's, like, very buttery and sweet. And, like, 
The, I think the butter flavor makes it kind of creamy. Like, not in texture, but in taste. Like, it tastes like a cream. And it's really sweet. But, like, after the truffle hits you... It doesn't linger super strong on your tongue. It, like, kind of fades. And... You don't get too much... Like... Doesn't... There's not many... That's not much remnant of the truffle on my tongue. But it's like... Holy shit! It, it like... The truffle just punches you when you first take a bite. Whoa! This one go crazy! Yeah, I could probably get addicted to these. These are kind of cool. I, I would say this is for people that like, like sweet chips. Because, like, it, I feel like here in America, we don't have too many sweet flavored chips. Whereas, like, in Asia, we have, like... If you like, like, honey butter chips, then you would probably really like this one. If, you know, like, truffle doesn't, like, scare you away. Sometimes truffle oil can be very overwhelming. So, I think that would probably, like, deter some people. But this one, this one was yummy. It was sweet. Very strong fragrance of the truffle. I sound like master, a master chef, bro. I sound like a master chef. Alright, I'll save this one for later. Some of these I think I'll eat later. And some of these I think I will not eat later. I will bring them downstairs and feed them to the masses. <laughs> so let's see. Um, this I want to eat later. Um, I think I'll give the hot chili squid to downstairs. Because I already have an, a hot chili Squid. I'm gonna take I'm gonna bring the lobster downstairs. Um I'm gonna bring the corn chips, the maple corn chips downstairs just because I don't think I'll finish it. Um I'm keeping the hot chili squid. I'm keeping these. These are I'm gonna munch on those later. Um This I'm not keeping. This I'm not keeping. I think I'll keep the ghost pepper. The ghost pepper was really good. It wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be. And it's like a fun like amount of spice that I would enjoy. Excuse me. And then... I don't want to keep seaweed. I don't want to keep the salmon skin. I don't want to keep the salted egg potato chips. I... The, the other... The anchovy one's on the floor because I just don't want to look at it right now. I feel really betrayed by how it tasted. And then I'm not keeping these seaweed ones. So these will go downstairs to the masses. <laughs> and then I'll keep these three. <laughs> I'm a little evil. describe it they're like they're nuts but they have that shell on it and it tastes yummy they look like this yeah I'll, I'll pour one out they look like this and they have like a very nice crunch to it mm. they have that like sweet coconutty breading to it it's really yummy 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 I like these Mm, I got some strawberry pocky. Strawberry pocky is my favorite flavor. So, I just got this for, I don't know if I'm... Got the munchies. Uh, I also, oh yeah, I really like almond pepero. I don't know, almond pepero is really good. And then I got these... I don't know. I got these like, kid, like crackers for like little kids. Sometimes... I just want a little, 
a li- I just want to nibble on something, you know? And these are plain enough. And s- they're like plain little... You know, like Nilla wafers? They're kind of like that, but like super tiny. Maybe not as vanilla-y. Tiny. How cute. And I really like these. These are super crunchy. These got... These got... these. This crunch go crazy. It's like... I can't explain it. It's like the crunchiest thing ever. These are my favorite, like, crackers, honestly. Um, I've just always really liked them. I remember, like, eating them whenever I got hella depressed in, in college. And I would just find the little light orange wrappers everywhere in my room. They're really good. It's like the perfect amount of sweet and salty and savory. And it's really, really yummy. I don't know how to describe it. These, these just go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Bin... Ah, they're called Bin Bin Crackers. I... Oh. I never knew there was a name. I just saw these. I was like, yo, I need these. And I got seaweed flakes. Um, Sometimes I am not super hungry. And I don't want to... I don't know. Does anyone just like not crave meat? Sometimes I don't really crave meat. And I just want to eat rice with like seaweed or like kimchi. And yeah, it's, I'm uh, I'm like a snack goblin. I, I like snacks. Yeah, those are my... That's my other snacks. I have some soy milk cans. You guys like Yeo? I like Yeo milk a lot. It's yummy. <sighs> Let's see, what time is it? This... Is that, is that the time? What, what time is it in, uh... PS, EST? It's 6.49. Ah. Okay. I'll probably get off in like... I don't know. Let's see if anyone's texted me. Nope. At some point, I do want to go downstairs and... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I wanted to shower and get ready and do my makeup and... Wait for my friends to come over. But I'll hang out with you guys for a little bit. What can we do in the meantime? Look at this little guy. Doesn't he just make you happy? Look at him. He's just on his little stump. I love this little guy. So cute. So freaking cute. Hmm. I have my... I have my vitamin C pills. Yippee! <gasps> oh my god! Here's my purse. Let me see. What is that? Yes! Here it is! Oh yeah, Atsu gave me this pin. Isn't it cute? It's of, of this kitty cat. It's super cute. Oh yeah, and this purse is from Kier, K-I-R, on Twitter. She's the one that made the whale, the whale mouse pad. I love all her merch so much. She gave me this for free! It's got whale sharks and... Orcas and manta rays and sea turtles and ribbon eels and sunfish and ah, they're so cute. I love it. Okay. Oh yeah, they made me this. It's got a little crying. I don't know which fish this is. What is this? A sardine? A little eel? It's really cute. It's like this crying fish. I love. I love this blanket. It's very comfy. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I bought... I went to this, like... Remember that Chinese knickknack store? So I got this thing. And it might be... The best purchase... That I've ever made in my entire life. <gasps> you guys... 
It's really fucking cool. Behold! You guys know what this is? Look how freaking cute it is! All right, check this out, check this out. Holy shit. This, this goes hard. This was like the best $4 I ever spent in my entire life. I, I legit, I was on a two hour flight back home and I legit was just playing on this thing. Like this shit goes crazy. Look. Yo! Look at this. Holy shit. This goes crazy chat. I promise you, so fucking cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can break a high score right now. I'm kind of cracked at it. All right, look, look at that, look at that. Are you as good as me? Huh? Is anyone here willing to challenge me? Look at this shit. I'm fuck. I'm literally a god. Like what? How? How does she do it, chat? How does she do it? I love this. It's so freaking cute. Look, it's got a little moth tattoo doll, like the little weather doll. And then it's got a little kitty with a pinwheel and little clouds and little, little kitty planets and little kitty clouds and little kitty paws. <laughs> so cute. Yippee. This shit just simply go crazy, chat. I don't know. I know I'm a grown ass adult, but <sighs> something about this just, it, it truly does. This, this truly does hit the same. Like from childhood to adulthood, the excitement I have when I play games like this is, it's so, it's still the same. It's constant. They're so, they're the greatest. And uh, it's got this little like plug thing if you wanna like pull it out and add more water to it, I think. I, or at least I think that's how it works. I know there's this one channel that like, have you heard of the mosquito torture cha channel? Um, there's this channel on YouTube of this guy torturing mosquitoes and he puts them in one of these and he starts like, he puts the mosquito baby because you know they start they they like are born from water right like they're they're nymphs before they like leave the water and then f start flying around he puts them in one of these and like tortures them in it and i don't know i thought it was funny um <laughs> it sounds like tos they're mosquitoes though they don't have they don't they 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 don't they're just mosquitoes though <laughs> No, mosquitoes deserve it. No, 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 mosquitoes deserve it. We should dry all water on Earth so they would not exist anymore. <laughs> They're still living beings? Not anymore. Watch this. <laughs> um, I like water though. I don't think you speak for all of us. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Carbon based life was a huge LTBH. Bruh, that's what I'm saying. If I see any wasp and mosquito defenders in my chat, I will be upset. <laughs> Have you watched Avatar 2 yet? I don't... I don't know, can I say it? <laughs> I don't like Avatar. <laughs> I don't... I just don't really like it. I... I'm sorry. I think like the thing that the thing that like like I already was kind of iffy about the movie. I I, I haven't seen two. I've seen I've seen the first one. I thought that it didn't need to be that long. 
But also, I didn't really like... I don't... I don't really get the, like... The... I don't really get it. <laughs> I... I don't know how much I can... I don't know! I just don't like... I don't like the director, to, to be fair. Like, I don't like the director. I think it's just super over-budgeted. And, like... You, you can spend that... You can... I feel like there's a threshold of, like, how much you can spend producing a movie and how good it could possibly be. Because, like... I, for a fact, know that everything, everywhere, all at once exists and they spent like literally like the bare minimum for that and it's uh, like the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And so like how much better could this like movie that spent like a bajillion dollars more be than the one that I just saw? And and I heard that James Cameron, is that his name? I don't fucking know his name. What's his name? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he like, spent, like, a bunch of money, like, hiring, like, really, like, hiring, I guess, like, uh, composers that can make, like, like, true alien music. Like, true alien planet music. Like, hire all these people that fucking studied in the art of, like, just, I don't know, like, like, ethnic music stuff. And I guess he listened to it and was like, wow, this is exactly what I asked for. Never mind, I don't want it anymore. We're just gonna use normal action soundtrack movie. So like when you listen to the soundtrack in Dune, it could have been really good like that. But then you listen to the Avatar soundtrack and it's just like normal action music. He spent, yeah, he spent 120 million on this like gorgeously composed OST for his movie, like, like, genuine fucking mind-blowing alien music and then was like actually eh, i think i prefer like just generic movie action music and just threw it all out goodbye i don't know i think i will just not watch it out of spite because i just dislike him <laughs> He is the Mr. Beast of movies, but without the charisma. Yeah, watch Dune instead. Watch Dune instead. Okay, but the story is mid as fuck. True. True and real. What are your thoughts on Dune? Well, I had a lot of fun doing your mom, so probably 10 out of 10. <sighs> well, I thought it was a good movie. Any askers? I'm kidding. No, it's okay. You could tell. Totally, I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. Just, I don't know. I, I feel like movie music is just really important to me. So. Just kind of. I like I like movie soundtracks. I'm a movie soundtrack enjoyer. I want to rewatch the menu. I thought the menu was a, like kind of. I thought it was fun. It was kind of silly and goofy. And it was like a nice spin on like satirical horror movies. I liked it. I thought it was a, it was a little little silly and goofy i liked it anyway anya is very a very pretty actress so i'm she's a very good actress and i like to look at her <laughs> i liked it being a parody of david gelb i have no idea who that is so what movies do you like um i like i don't know i like horror movies i like thrillers i like Mm, I don't know. I could watch Hereditary or Old Boy or um uh what else have I been watching? I watch Puss in Boots, dude. You guys gotta watch Puss in Boots. Have you guys seen Puss in Boots too? 
I don't know if you guys seen Puss in Boots 1. I don't remember it. I've been told it was bad. But Puss in Boots 2 was so good. I did not expect to tear up from that movie. They put they put a lot of effort into that movie. Like, I don't know if you guys know, like, remember the one, like, like the cartoony action sequences in, in Kung Fu Panda. It had a lot of that. And it also reminded me a little bit of, like, the animation style kind of reminded me a little bit of, like, Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Verse. It was really good. It was really, really, really good. I just woke up from a coma of eight years. Oh. Hi, guys, Sor. Oh. Ah. Ah, I see. Nice to meet you again. Too long didn't read. Sorry, good news for you. <laughs> Too long didn't read. Be funnier. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um I don't know. Go we'll see Puss in Boots. It was really good. I think any person of any age could really enjoy that movie. Also, there was a wolf in that movie, and like not to be weird or anything, but uh he was really hot and um I I uh <laughs> uh um he was a really good antagonist and it was just such a well-written story you guys don't have, listen listen to me i i know it's puss in boots and i know we all think of shrek when we think of that but like it was actually such a good movie the animation was incredible and the fight sequence was sequence bleh, sequences were super well choreographed like it was it was actually insane like i could just i i can't i can't explain to you like how intricate like because because you know puss in boots is like this tiny little orange tabby and there's like a scene i don't want to spoil but there's a scene where you know he's fighting someone like exponentially bigger than him and like the perspective of him flying around the enemy and and fighting him and like all the like weird quirky ways that he he like like all the strategies that he uses to take down that enemy i thought it was it was so crazy you should really watch puss in boots what did you think of the wolf he's really hot the wolf was just i, I came into the movie blind i did i swear i did not watch the movie because i knew a wolf was going to be in there i just watched it and there happened to be a wolf in there and i was like wait a second what's what's happening to me <laughs> what's what's happening to me <laughs> ain't no way <laughs> leave me alone Oh, it was just such a good movie. It was such a good movie, bro. It was such a good movie. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think everyone would enjoy it. It, it was such a well-written story. It was such a well-written, heartfelt story that was memorable and great for the whole family. I enjoyed it in my ripe old age, and I think you guys would too. I definitely need to see it. Yeah, I think Puss in Boots is like... The movie that is worth watching right now. Time to watch Puss in Boots. Trust. Trust. So good. So good. What else? Um, yeah, that's kind of it. If you guys ever go to Vegas, please, please, please go to Omega Mart. Wait, I can't pick up this thingy yeah. look look i have my omega card omega mart card because i was i worked there briefly you guys should go to omega mart it's really really it's so fucking worth it trust me like don't get like don't gamble like don't go to clubs like fuck fuck all of that the only thing that is worth it in vegas a hundred percent are all you can eat buffets in omega mart trust me it's super fucking fun so fucking good i i really enjoyed it it was such a weird acid trip of like a uh, art museum you gotta go trust 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 omega love mart <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Anywho, um, it's about that time where I think I will probably start getting off and going to take a shower and getting ready for like, New Year's. Um, I don't know. What should we do before I go? Oh yeah, I wanted to rate which chips were S tier. I think that I could probably. The hot chili squid banger. Um Honestly, I think honestly, I think the hot chili the not the spicy lobster Pringles kind of grew on me, so that's S tier. And uh the Lay's salted egg. No, that's gonna that's gonna say stay B tier, T B H. This one I can change this to an A. Alright, here you go. This is the final score. Excuse me. Gucci salted egg D. Lay's salted egg B. Lay's hot chili squid S. Lay's ghost pepper A. Maple corn chips A. Green carpet chips D. Spicy lobster Pringles S. Hot chili squid Pringles B. Crispy white sardine F. 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 That tasted so. Ah, that tasted so. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It really did feel like I was tasting a really old fish carcass, which is exactly what it was. I just didn't expect it to taste exactly like exactly what it was. I thought surely after they cooked it and add seasoning, it would taste less like that, but it didn't. Spicy salted egg, crispy salmon skin, D. Just too much money and kind of not that good. But what can we do in the meantime? Let's make some New Year's resolutions to end the end the day off, shall we? New Year's. New Year's resolutions. Okay, so here's my plan for this. What if we made a list, but like instead of like putting everything that is true, we put some fake ones in there. So then when people enter the stream or watch the VOD, they just see the list and they don't know. And you can't tell which one's real and which one's fake. So she forgot to rate them. Oh, the truffles. Oh, yeah. I forgot the truffles. Uh, truffles was S tier. All right, guys, let's list some. Get some abs. No more brain worms. That's a good one. Survive. Get some ass. Get married. I will not commit murder. Do you guys know that some people in my in the Babel chat Discord server has a positive KDA? I will not elaborate, but it's kind of crazy how most of us will die with a negative KD, but I I know I know in my server there's a couple people that won't. So that was kind of crazy. How about have positive KD? <laughs> Notice how she got put she put get asked before getting married. I'm not I'm not trying to like, you know, not go through all the life experiences that will shape me before I'm married, you know? There's a there's a there's a sequence of events to to all of it. Give Numi a lap dance. I already gave her a lap dance. I think I've given her like 3 less thirsty posting less r meet rick sanchez meet rick sanchez oh god i oh, oh more thirsty posting all right get more riz that's a good one um more bow barks learn how to cook um Eat better chips. Well, I mean, the whole the whole purpose of the stream was to eat the weird ones. In order to find the good ones that were hidden behind the 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 fear of it being too weird. Spoil Yuzu. Plan ahead. Font sizes. Huh? East Coast 
East Coast visit. I don't I don't think I've ever I haven't been on East Coast in a while. Get a blithe. Get down in Ohio. Toilet. Oh, no more. No more toilet destruction. Okay. Banger. Kiss more VTubers. Okay. Have healthy shits. Cosplay. <laughs> no, I don't want to cosplay as well. I'll put that on there though. Soft stool only. <laughs> Sniffa. Sniffa pets. What else? Drink more water. Oh, so true, actually. Get a bidet. Well, I already have like three. Learn how to do a handstand. More Bible Buddy Aaron run video chat. <laughs> Clean your desk. No, you can't make me. I don't wanna. It's too hard. Girl domination. Test the auto litter box. No, I don't wanna shit in the litter box. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Uh rearrange text so we can see it all. Oh, Oh, yeah! Forklift certification! I'm actually doing that, though. Wear pants. Fuck you. Become a threat. Yeah, of course I'm gonna be forklift. Evade the FBI for another year. Get more cats. Smell the primordial... Dream. Destroy IBS. Stop paying taxes. Get a little too silly. Learn to love yourself. Get respect from VTubers. More bow songs. <laughs> Visit Epstein Island. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Hike Mount Everest. I don't want to. I don't want to go on a doomed expedition. She's too old, bro. Y'all are crazy. How do I make the text bigger? I don't know. What happened to my text? Maybe I could make it smaller and then you guys can see it. Ariel font size 10. You guys see it now? Oh god! The, the fucking font! Select font. Maybe 30? Yippee! All right, let's let's do this. New Year's resolutions. Get some apps. No more brain worms. Survive. Get some ass. Get married. Caught positive KD. Less thirsty posting. Re meet Rick Sanchez. More thirsty posting. Get more Riz. More bow barks. Learn how to cook. Eat better chips. Spoil yuzu. Plan ahead. East Coast visit. Get a blithe body pillow. Get down in Ohio. No more toilet destruction. Kiss more VTubers. Have healthy shits. Cosplay as blithe. Soft stool only. Sniff of pets. Drink more water. Get a bidet. Learn how to do a handstand. More bubble buddy. Aaron run video chats. Clean your desk. No. World domination. Test out the auto litter box. Forklift certification. Wear pants. Become a threat. Evade the FBI for another year. Get more cats. Smell the primordial dream. Destroy IBS. Stop paying taxes. Get a little too silly. Learn to love yourself. Get respect for VTubers. More bow songs and hike Mount Everest. I like these. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. I think next year will be a really good year for me. And I will manifest it.
I think that this year was definitely challenging in a lot of ways that I couldn't have really anticipated. And uh, there were, I had a lot of internal battles. I think that um, the most important battles that you face are the ones that you go through alone and, you know, get to the other side of alone. And uh, I think I think I I think I will get to the other side. Um, it'll just take some time and, uh, you know, belief in myself because, you know, like I'm going to spend like, you know, the human experience is the majority of it is spent by yourself. So I might as well get comfy being by myself and being OK with myself. So such is such is life. It's just life. Time is ever moving and uh, there's no there's no race. I need to stop thinking that this is all a race and uh, just take my time because honestly, I think my most like my most rewarding and most like successful projects are the ones that I spent a lot of time and thought on. So quality over quantity and um, just to be happy that I have somehow, somehow, with the help of many people and all of you, have fostered a community where I'm comfortable sharing my thoughts and feelings to everybody. So it's been, it's been really nice being in the company of, you know, complete strangers online and like having them cheer me on and encourage me and we've never met you know you've, i've never seen my face we've never been in the same room together but like for some reason we just all have congregated into this one little speck on the internet and uh are just cheering each other on i have no idea what's happening in your life i have no idea what has happened in your life but it's really nice thinking about that that uh even complete strangers on the internet have some semblance of hope in me and I have just as much hope in them so anyway I love y'all with all of my heart I'm not afraid to say that I love you all not not in like in in the most in the most parasocial way I could possibly love you guys that's how much I love you guys and I'm not afraid to say that I genuinely love each and every single one of you and I just, I, I, I feel like I, even if I spent an entire lifetime, I wouldn't be able to show you guys how much just you guys spending time with me has meant to me as, as a growing content creator and a wandering lost young adult trying to find her purpose in this world. You guys have helped me get a little closer to that. And I hope that Maybe I can do a little bit of the same for you. So, happy new year. I hope everyone is spending lots of time with their loved ones um, on the internet or off the internet. I hope that you aren't spending it alone and you're in great, great company. Um, even if it's not a lot, because again, quality over quantity. Mwah. I love you guys super, super, super much. I love you, I love you, I love you. I will see you guys after I'm done doing the big move and I'm in a much better headspace for streaming. Um, in the meantime, I think I'll just be working on offline content, but um, next year will be awesome. I'm going to manifest it. Next year will be awesome. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be my, be my own enemy and I'm just going to believe in me. I believe in me. And you guys should believe in you too. Let's believe in ourselves. Okay? Let's believe in ourselves. Mwah. Everyone will think you're crazy until you're successful. Rick Sanchez. 20... 2017. <laughs> <laughs> okay i love you guys i'm gonna hop on off i'm gonna find somebody to raid but you guys have yourself very very happy new years and i'll see you guys soon
Who to raid? Who to raid? Who to raid? Who to raid? <laughs> Let's raid my beautiful sister Vienna because it's not often that I'm streaming the same time as her. Let's Let's send you guys off there, okay? Happy New Year! Drink responsibly! Remember to drink lots of water if you do! Take care! Mwah, 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 mwah. Thanks for hanging out with me. I had a really fun stream. Thanks for the cozy vibes. Bye-bye! Mm. Bye-bye! 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 Mwah, 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 mwah. Chúc mừng năm mới! Cân, 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 si, fat, guy. Um, what else do I know? Police. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what, what else do I know? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Akemashita! Akemashite omedetto! Um, Akeome! Release! Release Nouveau Anyo! Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! Bye! Chúc mừng sức khỏe nha bạn! Happy New Year! Mua, mua, mua. See you guys soon! Bye bye! Bye 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 bye